Hi, I'm Desiree Brokwa, and welcome to today's lesson on creating dynamic runbooks in Enterprise Manager. In Enterprise Manager, dynamic runbooks consist of a set of ordered steps that users execute to resolve an incident. We will take a look into an example of creating a dynamic runbook against an existing incident. To begin, let's navigate to the Incident Manager console. Select Enterprise, Monitoring, and Incident Manager. Let's highlight the incident with the summary text, the value of the fast recovery area percent used is 83.446. In this bottom pane that appears, notice that there is a separate section called Runbook Sessions. To create a runbook session against this incident, select the Create Runbook option. This navigates us to a runbook draft page. Note that runbooks are created in the context of an incident. At the top of the page, the previous incident details are carried over, such as the incident message and the target name. Let's change the default runbook name to check flashback retention usage. For background, the purpose of this runbook will be to check if the fast recovery area usage has passed the indicated threshold due to flashback logs stored in the fast recovery area. We will begin the runbook with a note step to list an overview in the prerequisites. There are five step types available. Note, metric data, repository SQL, target SQL, and OS command. A note step can be used for any type of text meant to provide information or instructions pertaining to the runbook. The note can be plain text, but can also accommodate simple formatting via markdown language. For the purpose of this example, I have already pre-written step one. The three hash signs followed by the space to the beginning of the first sentence make it header three. The three dashes on their own line under the first sentence create a horizontal line. Notice the two asterisks next to the prior to beginning text. This will make it bold. We also have runbook variables on the right side of the page. Runbook variables are populated with values from the incident details when a runbook draft is created and can be used as part of a step definition. It allows you to define a runbook using these variables rather than hard-coded values. In step one, I use the runbook variable for target name. This populates this field with the target name pulled from the context of an incident. Let's select Save step to view the modifications to the text. As I previously mentioned, our overview and prerequisite step should now contain the following. The first sentence is a header three with a horizontal line under it. The prior to beginning text is in bold and the target name is populated by the name of the target from the incident. For step two, we will create a metric data step, which is used to show the time series chart for the specified metric. To do so, select add a step and metric data. Let's make our step two title review the metric that triggered the incident. And for the instruction text, I am putting review the aura metric name over time and note if there is an increasing trend. Notice that I use one of the runbook variables again for the instruction text. This will populate that value with the text in the metric name field, which is FRA percent use. Let's now click on the time range field to modify the times shown in the graph. I am interested in viewing the metric between the event time minus 169 days and the event time plus 14 days. Event time represents the time when the event and its incident was triggered and you can specify a range of time relative to this event time. Select Done. Select the Run button to preview the metric data graph before saving the step. Once you have completed the steps, select Save Step to view the results. The metric name value should populate to FRA% percent use and the graph should display an upward trend and a red vertical dotted line to indicate when the incident was triggered. For step three, we will create a target SQL step. It allows you to execute SQL against any database target in Enterprise Manager. Let's enter the following title. If FRA usage is due to flashback logs, check for flashback retention usage. And let's add the instruction text to say, check the flash parameters and aura target name. 
verify that retention is set to the standard value of 1440. Before we can run a query against this database, we will need to specify the database's name credential. For this example, the name credential is cdb186 underscore sys. Now let's move on to adding the query. While there are out-of-box runbook variables, you can create your own variables as well. To do so, under the Variable section, select Add a Variable button. In the Name field, enter User underscore Flash. In the Display Name field, enter Flash-like Statement. In the value used in the Draft field, enter Percentage Flash Percentage. In the value used in a runbook session, let's go with the option Same Value Used in the Draft. Select OK to save the variable. Once the variable is saved, it should appear in the Variable section under Author Define. We will use this variable for the SQL query. Let's enter the following query. You can see here in the query that we use the Author Define variable that we just created. Select Save Step. Once we save the step, we can run the step and check if the SQL query is correct. The query shows a table with the flashback retention usage results, which lists 1440, which is the standard value needed. This result also indicates that the fast recovery area usage incident is not due to flashback logs. Since we have finished creating a sample runbook, we can publish this for use by others. To do so, navigate to the runbooks link tab. This takes us to a runbooks page with the list of all our current drafts. Select the Actions menu next to the draft we just created and select Publish. We have now created a runbook that can be used by other administrators who have the necessary privileges. Please note that Oracle also provides out-of-the-box runbooks for use. Thanks for listening to today's session on creating dynamic runbooks in Enterprise Manager.